Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Talk The Talk. If you've subscribed and been following the channel, thank you very much. And first off, apologies. I know it's been about six months since I've actually uploaded a proper video. Uh, just between work, uh, marriage, my cars, working on them. It's been a bit of a hectic year, but hoping to get back into the swing of things and have at least uh, two videos a month, whether that be car reviews, um, news on my own cars, or stuff that's happening around Australia with the car scene and even some car news worldwide. So some of you that have seen some of my previous videos on my cars, uh, you may remember the DeLorean that I started restoring last year. Ended up finishing that restoration. We did interior, mechanical, full cooling system redone, some aesthetic things to it as well. Heaps of bushes throughout the whole suspension. The thing was pretty buggered. Um, and that car's actually gone now. So reason I sold it was I really wanted to get into the old school American muscle car scene. Had one or two for years, never really got round to it. Bit the bullet, I'm like, love the DeLorean, have had heaps of them over the years since I was 17 years old, but really wanted a change up and wanted some true old school pure American muscle. Now before we get into all the details about the car, let's just do what we all want. Let's start her up, give her a few revs, see what this beast actually sounds like. So here she is, 1969 Corvette Stingray. Um, when I was looking for a Corvette, I was actually looking 68 to 72, so still the same shape of the C3, chrome bumpers front and rear. Really love that real classic look of it. Um, if it was going to be a C3, it had to have the chrome bumpers up front and back. I actually do like the earlier years of that shape there where it's 68 to 69. Really love the uh, side gills that it has, really makes it look like an actual Stingray right there. Bit later on they went a bit crisscrossy on there didn't quite look as um as tough looked a little bit tacky with that on the side so really really happy with this purchase and when i was actually looking put my want to buy post up the uh son-in-law of the owner of this vehicle actually got in touch with me he said look i've got a full nut bolt restoration 69 stingray uh, if you're interested let me know obviously was very interested that's what i was after as soon as i saw it you could tell this had been gone over meticulously it's a beautiful restoration and pictures worth a thousand words and in this case it really really was so i made the trip up there a few weeks later it was about a four and a half hour drive from where i live but it was well worth it so a bit of information on the actual restoration and in detail of what went into it uh, this car, when the owner got it, it was actually painted red. The original colour was yellow, but it was red when he got it. The paint had definitely seen better days. Uh, didn't have a bonnet at all either, and the car had been sitting for 15 years. He had a body off respray done to the car, so he brought it back to the original colour being yellow, but a little bit of a custom yellow compared to the factory one which I actually love. As you can see, the sun's glaring down on this. It absolutely pops when it's outside. Beautiful color in my opinion. Down here, if you're talking something like that, if you drive it in, let someone else do it. We're talking probably about a 15 to $25,000 job. The whole interior, new interior. So we've got all new leather on the seats, the door cards, the roof, everything like that. A few um, bits and pieces thrown into it as well. Uh, new stereo with an AUX um, cord that you can actually attach in, but it looks like the retro look. So it looks like it's actually a cassette deck, which looks really awesome. Uh, originally, it did have a 427 cubic inch V8. The new engine that he put into it, because the car didn't come with an engine when he bought it, was a crate engine so it was a 350 cubic inch uh, chevy engine that had been straight out to 383 cubic inch or 6.3 liter if we're talking in the metric system uh, when we're talking wheel and tire setup it's got rally spec wheels 
looks awesome. Um, really, the classic cars are the only ones that can get away with it. It just suits so well. And the BF Goodrich Radial TA tires, again, it just suits the era. Nice and chunky, got that white riding on it. Looks absolutely amazing. So another cool thing about this car is um, a few things, features on this car actually work off a vacuum system. So the headlights actually work off the vacuum system. You have to have the engine running because that's how it actually gets its vacuum. Um, you pop them up, sometimes they're a little bit lazy. One goes up before the other. Uh, you can put electrical systems in it as well. So it goes up more together, fixes it, or you can play around with the vac system. But being a classic car, I guess it gives it a little bit of character with it not working exactly right. And at the end of the day, they pop up in the end, so I'm not really too fussed. And another cool feature that works off the vac system is this actual wiper door here. It actually comes up and reveals the wiper arms. They're hidden while the actual door's down, which is real cool. You do whatever you need to with your wipers. Once you're done, pop the knob back in and the door goes back down and hides it away. Now, as I said previously in this video, I was in touch with the son-in-law of the owner of this car uh, throughout the whole inspection period and transaction too. Uh, as soon as I took it for a drive after I went up there to inspect it, uh, shook hands on a deal with him, told him, of course I want the car, it's exactly like the pictures, absolute masterpiece. And he actually uh, delivered some very unfortunate and, and serious news as well. Um, he informed me that Bill, the owner of the car, the man who built this thing from ground up, this absolute masterpiece, he informed me that he was actually within his, his final weeks of living. Now, um, I knew that he was sick in and out of hospital due to cancer, but honestly, I didn't know uh, up until that point that it was that serious. And um, one request that he had and his family had was that the, um, the car be at his funeral along with his 1969 Mark I that he uh, fully restored as well, another absolute gorgeous car. So here's actually a picture of Bill with his two beasts side by side, absolute sight to see. Uh, two cars wonderfully restored by him. Uh, another picture of him actually in the workshop, checking over, see that everything's going all right with the Corvette, bit of work on the engine. And as the car is sitting here today, I can't take any credit for him. It's all to him and the people that actually helped him build the car. Cameron, his son-in-law, went over the whole car's electrical system with Bill, helped him out with a few other bits and pieces on the car as well. So really, it's a, a tribute to him. And I discussed with his family that I was gonna be making this video of the car, asked if I could actually share his story because I feel that behind every car, there's a real story, it's, just, it's not just a piece of machinery, it's not just a way of having joy, there's an actual story behind it, and this is all a part of it. But as I said, that's the history of this car here. I hope that I can share many more videos of it. The next video that we're actually gonna be doing of it is going for a proper drive and a bit of review of how the car is to actually own every day and how it is to take it out on the open road, have some fun with it, so on that note there we'll be wrapping up this video um, please give the video a like uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more awesome content um, reviews my cars whatever it may be it's all about having fun it's all about us sharing the passion just like bill had for these awesome cars and i'll see you guys next time thank you very much for watching